In this video from Reports Your Way, we are going to show how to create a simple report to look at current inventory and compare it to a prior period using an NAV database. Let's get started. For our end user option, we are going to let the viewer determine the prior period date. We carry that date over onto the report page using NP eval. Next, we need to create a date range for our prior period filter. We'll use NP date filter for this. Notice we only need to fill in the end date for this. When we leave the start date blank, JET will insert the dot dot for us so that the date filter is going to read everything up to that date. We may only want to see items that have a current value and or a value for the prior period date. We used the same technique in our video Eliminate Conditional Hides in Financials. We start by making a virtual list using NL filter for all inventory items in the item table where the value is not equal to zero. Note we use quantity on hand for the field name and the filter value is not equal to zero. We make a second list of all inventory items in the item table in the prior period where the value is not equal to zero. This time, however, we have two filters. The first one is for the field net change and we'll set its filter value to not equal to zero. And we need to add date filter as a field and point it to the date range we created for the filter value. Now we can create the report. For the list of item numbers, we'll use NL rows. But for the table parameter, we want to combine the two virtual lists using NP union. This will give us our distinct list of item numbers that have either a quantity on hand today or an inventory value in the prior period or both. Now that we have those numbers, we can add in the description, the quantity on hand, and the inventory value on the chosen date. To do this, we are going to open a record key based on that item number. We need an NL first. Select the item table, leave the field parameter empty, and then filter for that item number. After that, we are just going to use an NF function point it to that record key, and select our field name. Note that for the prior period, we must use net change and not quantity on hand, as we do for the current period. While both of these are flow fields, only net change with a date filter will give us the inventory value as at another date. To make this more interesting, we've added some conditional formatting to show the change for the prior period. This is a feature of Excel. We inserted a column between the two reporting periods. In that cell, we put an Excel if statement to test whether the current period value is greater than the prior period. If it is, we want the number 2 to appear. If the current value is less than the prior period, we want to see a 0. If the value is exactly the same, we just want it to equal 1. Now we go into Excel's Home ribbon and select Conditional Formatting. We used one of the icon sets. We don't actually want to see 0, 1, or 2 in the cell. We just want to see the icon. So in the icon dialog box, we're going to activate the checkbox Show Icon Only. By default, Excel is set to use percentages for the type. We need to use numbers. This is where our 0, 1, and 2 come in. When the value is equal to or greater than 2, we want to see the green up arrowhead. So we want this to be in our first parameter because it will be evaluated first. If the value is equal to or greater than 1, but because this is the second parameter, it means it is also less than 2, it will be set to a neutral yellow bar, meaning there is no change. Because Excel reads this in order, it means that all other values have to be less than 1 and the red down arrowhead will appear. If you think the yellow bar is too much clutter, while in design mode, click on the cell that has the 0, 1, or 2, and click on Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules, and Edit Rule. 
and you will see each icon has a drop down arrow. Open the yellow bar and select No Cell Icon and then click on OK in the next dialog box. Click on OK in the lower right hand corner and there we have it. If we wanted, we could expand this report to show several periods and do more complex filtering for posting groups, etc. Thank you for watching this video from Reports Your Way. We hope you found this information useful and invite you to view all the videos in our YouTube channel.